Wonderful. So we're here with Makai Briscoe. She's coming out of the 100 meters here in New York and also an amazing indoor season. But just tell me how it feels to be running here in New York. Um, it feels okay. Um, I didn't have the race that I wanted to today. Um, and that kind of sucks because we're two weeks away from USA. But um, at least I got a race in and I see what I need to be working on for the next two weeks so that when I go to USA, the time can be better until I get on that team. Nice. And uh, so like I was not noting, right, you came from LSU and you had an amazingly successful career there and you've been very successful as a pro. Um, but can you talk to me about the transition from college to professional and, and even more so thinking about just becoming an adult in a sense? Right. Um, so my first year of pro, I decided to move to California so that I could have a different kind of experience. I didn't want to feel like I was in college for a fifth year. So um, I moved to California and I learned really quickly how to be an adult, how to live on my own, um, fend for myself, find people that um, were genuine and just try to find people that were just there for me in California because I'm from Louisiana. I lived there my whole life. Um, that was my first time being away from home. So I learned really quickly how the pro sports world works and um, how to just fend for my own out there. But um, unfortunately it didn't work out. I just felt like my body wasn't ready for that kind of training. So I decided to move back home. Um, and now I feel like I know what I need to do to run the times I need to run. It's just about executing races now. Nice. And then as you kind of navigated through your career and also when you first got into sports, can you talk to me about some of your role models, whether that be in track and field or even outside of track? So um, I always looked up to Serena Williams. Um, I thought like we had the same body structure. So um, I always looked up to her. Um, Allison Felix, Olo Jones, Tim Duncan. I was born and raised in Louisiana, so I watched LSU sports a lot, especially track and field. So um, I was able to train with Lolo and Kim Duncan, and um, Cassandra Tate is there now. So those are people I really kind of followed. Nice. And so last question, of course, you do the sprints now. You were a hurdler at LSU. You kind of dropped that, right? But mm -hmm. if you can choose an event that you've never done before, could be on the track, on the field, what would you do? If I had the guts to do it, I would do pole vault, but I know I would never. Um, but I think that's just something interesting that everybody just can't do, and it's something different. There you go. Hey, one day you might be out in the pole vault. I would never. <laughs> I would never. Well, Makai Briscoe, thank you so much, and looking thank forward you. to the rest of the season. Thank you for having me.